What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The piano tutorial man. Back again with another one. <laughs> Classic. Yes, indeedy. And you already know who to feed. The needy. So, like I said, man, we got a classic here. Now, it's a classic for two reasons. First, this is an old hymn. Uh, regardless to who version we're doing, it's just an old hymn. So, it's a classic because of that. Old church hymn. But then it's also a classic because this is in the style of Aretha Franklin. She has a recording that she did. I'm only assuming I didn't research it. It sounded like it could have been the late 60s or the 70s, possibly. Uh, when she recorded her rendition. So that's why if you look in the top left-hand corner, it says, in the style of Aretha Franklin. Okay, so this is not going to be a 100%. Okay, this is exactly how they did it because it, it was a lot of different stuff going on. What I'm going to do is show you the basic. These, these are the basic chords that will give you that same sound, okay? The same sound. It's not going to be dead on because church musicians do different things every time they play stuff. So this is just the basics, Okay. I'd like to give a shout out to Denise Simon. Thank you for being so patient and sponsoring this tutorial. So, okay, so we're going to start. Uh, the way the song starts is with this little lick. It's like, actually, it plays it up here. When I d demonstrated the song, I played it down here. But on the recording, they're actually up here in this octave. Same notes, but just in this octave. So while your left hand is kind of bouncing on the F, right? It's bouncing on the F. The right hand is going, and you're doing that lick four times. So those notes will be C and A, okay, C and A, B flat and G, then you got A and F, and you're going, same thing, four times, and then after you finish that, Oh, and again, let me just show you. So it's like. So you just bounce that left hand like that. And when you come out of there, you want to just come out with a. Actually, come down here. Come to you. Come down your octave and come to G minor seven. Or G minor nine. I'll show you. Uh, G minor seven. For the advanced players, you can play that minor nine if you want. But anyway, G on the left hand. G, uh, B flat, D. F on the right hand. Then you can do F over C. C on the left hand. C, F, A on the right hand. And then come back to F major. F on the left. A, C, F on the right hand. Then you can do a B flat dominant 7 chord. That's B flat on the left. D, F, A flat, B flat. Another way that you can play the B flat dominant seven, if this is if you if this is hard for your fingers to do, you can also play it this way. Same chord but different inversion. Just in case, I'm just giving you options, okay? So you can play it this way if you want. A flat, B flat, D, and F, okay? Here's a hint. Every chord I show you, you can play it three or four different ways. But anyway. <laughs> so you got your B flat seven, then you want to go back to yeah, F major chord, F on the left, C, F, A on the right hand, and then you kind of want to go, this is the chord that's going to lead you out of the intro into the verse. So all we're playing right now is the intro. So you can do a C9, or I'll show you the C7, C on the left hand, B flat, C, E, and G, Okay. So those are all the chords. That's the breakdown of everything. And let me play it slowly so you can. This is the entire intro slowly. Two, three. Then you come to one. And then. Okay. Watch it one more time. The intro one more time. Is that right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and 
Let me. I'm gonna show you the C7 chord. I know I showed it to you a different inversion, but on the recording, I think this is the exact inversion that they're doing. So let me just show it to you. E, G, B flat, C. I meant to show it to you that way. Don't get confused. If you rather just play it this way, the way I showed it to you earlier, that's fine. But I'm just saying that on the recording, I think this was the exact inversion they did. At least that or they did this. But keep it simple. E, G, B flat, C. So let me show it one more time and then I'm going to move on, okay? One more time. Okay, now once the um they start singing the you know what 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 a friend we had you know they gospelized it they they didn't sing it the way it was written you know you know the Aretha and the, you know how we do in the black church you know we gotta take and make it you know we gotta change it up so anyway but the first chord you want to play is once the once once it's time to sing the verse you have your F on the left hand C F A on the right hand. Then you want to go to F over C, okay? C on the left hand, F, A, C on the right hand. And then return right back to your F major chord, okay? F on the left, C, F, A. So it's like, what? No, what? Like that. Then after that, you can come, you can, it's a little walk I'm going to give you, okay? This is like a little progression right here. You want to do F major, F on the left, A, C, F. Then you're going to do G minor, G on the left hand, B flat, D, G on the right hand. Then you're going to do F over A, A on the left, C, F, A on the right hand. Okay, then that's going to put you on that B flat seven chord. We played that earlier in the intro. B flat on the left, D, F, A flat, B flat. So, so far for the verse, we have. And you can stay on that B flat seven chord for like eight counts. One. to come to uh, F major chord again F on the left C F A on the right hand three four and then okay then you're going to uh, hit the F major again and then what you want to do your next chord will be F over E flat okay so that will be E flat on the left C F A on the right hand then you're going to come down to a, a D7 chord. D on the left, A, C, D, G flat on the top. Don't worry, I'm going to make it make sense because I'm going to go back and play it. You know, but I want to just break down every chord so you can see every chord. And I'll go back and um, play it so you can hear how it's supposed to sound. So D7 and then you can come to a G7 chord. G on the left, G B, D, F on the right hand. Okay, once you hit this G7 chord, you can take your left hand. A, B flat, B natural. Like that, so you can go. And then your next chord will be C7, C on the left, G, B flat, E on the right hand, a B flat seven chord, B flat on the left, F, A flat, D on the right hand, A flat seven, A flat on the left, E flat, G flat, F on the right hand, 
come back up to the um to the C7 if I would play it right come back up to the C7 C on the left G B flat E now I'm going to stop right there and put it together so so far with the verse we have I'm sorry Stay on it for eight beats. Remember B flat seven. And then come to the F major. Two, three, four, one, two, then. Um, uh, I forgot to do that walk. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again, okay? Because I forgot. Okay, let me do it again because I forgot to do that little walk. Here we go again with the verse. So you have one. You got the two, three, four, one, two, then. Okay. Now after that, you're gonna go back for the second half of the verse. You going it's gonna be it's gonna play almost exactly the same. You got your F major chord again. F on the left hand, C F A on the right hand. Then F over C again. You got your C on the left hand, F A C on the right hand. Come back to the F major chord. F on the left, C, F, A on the right hand. And then F major, it's a different inversion. A, C, F on the right hand, but it's still F major. You coming from there and then go G minor, G on the left, B flat, D, G on the right hand. F over A, A on the left, C, F, A on the right hand. Then you're going to come back up to the B flat dominant seven again. B flat on the left, D, F, A flat, B flat on the right. For eight beats. And then everything else is going to pretty much be the intro of the song again. Remember that? And the only difference is in the intro, after we played this F, we went to C7. This is the only difference. Instead of going to C7, you're just going to go to, you're going to play the F major chord, and then you're just going to make it. Uh, F7 so you'll you'll come off on this F major chord F on the left C F A on the right hand and then drop this F over here down to E flat okay so coming out of the verse is going to be And then you're going to go to that next section of the song. But let me go back and play the entire verse. And I'll play it slowly. All right. So this, these are the chords for the entire verse. So you have... Stay on it for eight counts. Three. 
Okay, then you got sitting there like yo why are you just playing and not breaking it down for us okay let me back up okay so I, on the court sheet this is called the b section so this is oh what a piece we often forfeit that part we want to go to on the o you want to hit a c9 chord c on the left b flat d e g on the right hand oh what piece and then i like to just take this C on the left hand and just put it on E briefly. Okay, that it turns into an E diminished seven, but um, in a way you can think of it as C9 over E, even though you, you would technically have to still be playing the C. But anyway, anyway, so you got your C9. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, and on beat seven, put it over E, right hand. Okay, then you want to go to. F major again, F on the left, C, F, A on the right hand, and then take this F, drop it down to E flat to make it F7, then you're going to go to B flat 7, B flat on the left hand, D, F, A flat, B flat on the right hand. Now this time you only want to play the B flat seven for four beats. All the other time you played it for eight beats. But this is just going to be one, two, three, four, and then they go to A minor seven to D seven. Okay, so yeah, A minor seven you can play it right in root position. A on the left, A C E G on the right hand to D seven. D on the left, A, C, D, G flat on top. And then you can come to G7, uh, G on the left, G, B, D, F on the right hand. And you can take that G on the left hand and walk it up like you did before. A, B flat. Then you can do that same chord progression we did earlier, which was. Okay, let me spell that out one more time. That would be C7, C on the left, G, B flat, E on the right hand, B flat 7, B flat on the left, F, A flat, D on the right hand. A flat dominant seven, A flat on the left, E flat, G flat, F on the right hand, and then F seven, C on the left, G, B flat, E on the right hand. So that section. back to the F major at this point F on the left hand yeah on the F on the left right that's correct uh, C F A on the right hand and then you want to go to F over C so that's C on the left hand F A C on the right hand then come back to your F major chord F on the left hand C F A on the right hand then you want to take this F major on your right hand and invert it down to this F major. Because that's going to be A, C, F. So you'll go, right? And then you want to walk it up to G minor, G on the left, 
B flat, D, G on the right hand, F over A, A on the left, C, F, A on the right hand, then B flat, 7, B flat on the left, D, F, A flat, B flat on the right hand. And this time you black the your back. I said you're black. Uh, your back to holding it for eight beats. So that's B flat on the left, D F A flat and B flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, after this, they go into a vamp. So before I go into the vamp, let me go back and show you the entire quote unquote B section that I call it on the chord sheet. So this is oh what piece we often forfeit. After this part, um, there's a vamp. They they kind of go and they'll go. So it's like, uh, 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 what is it supposed to be? Let me look at it. And they stay there for a while. They stay there for a while. So those chords are F major, F on the left, C, F, A on the right hand, G minor 9, G on the left, B flat, D, F, A, then F over A, A on the left, C, F, A on the right hand. And then it's B flat seven again. And every time I showed you B flat seven, if you want, throughout this, you can go back. If you want, you can always add this C to make it B flat nine. I just want to throw that out anywhere on this tutorial. Every time I said B flat seven, if you would like, you can always add middle C. If you add middle C, it will be B flat nine. Just want to throw that out there. So your B flat seven chord again is B flat on the left. D, F, A flat, B flat. So you got that. And you're going to just keep repeating that. Now, another uh, al alternative way you can play that section, because the choir is doing everything, everything, everything. That's what the choir is singing, right? Everything, everything, everything. Now, if you want, you can do this on that part. You can go, uh, what is it? Everything, everything. Yeah, I messed up. Everything, 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 yeah, everything. But it's harder to do, as you can see, even I'm messing it up. Everything, 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 yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm messing it up. That's why I said it's harder. But um, well, I will say this on a recording. I don't hear the piano player playing that. I only hear the 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 choir singing it. That's why I said you can just go. Um, I don't hear the piano player. I hear the bass player doing something funky with it. But the piano player, I think, is just. But if you want to be slick, you can go. You know, 
that's up to you. So I just wanted to show that to you. And all I'm doing over here is what I showed you at the very beginning of the song. The same notes, the C and the A, the B flat and the G, and the A and the C, uh, the A and the F. Uh -uh. But this time, last time you just bounced on the F. But at this part of the song, the bass is kind of moving. F, G, A, B flat, F, G, A, B flat. Okay, now I can't tell you how many times they do it. Uh, if you're playing this for your choir, you just follow the choir director. And if you're the choir director, you choose how many times. But on the recording, they do that a lot of times. Everything, everything, everything. Uh, ev so, okay. So then eventually it's time to end the song. So when you come out of that part, so let's say we're coming out of it. Everything, uh, uh, uh. Then when you come out of it, you want to come out of it with G minus seven, G on the left. G, B flat, D, F on the right hand. Then you want to play F over C. C on the left. C, F, A on the right hand. Then you want to play F major. This is a different inversion of F major. F on the left. A, C, F on the right hand. Then you got your B flat 7. B flat nine if you want. <laughs> B flat on the left hand. D F A flat B flat. And you can end it on some kind of F chord. Um, you can just do a regular. You can just play a regular F chord if you want. F on the left, C F A. Or you can take this F on your right hand and play the E flat. It end it with an F7 if you want. You know what I'm saying? Or if you feel like an F9. You can end it this way, but you choose how you want to end it. But it's, I think on the recording, it's just a straight up F chord. So I'll show that to you. OK, F on the left, C, F, A. OK, again, if you want to make it a, a domi dominant seven, instead of playing this F over here, play the E flat. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I'll, I'll keep it there. OK, so that ending of the song from the vamp will be. Okay, and that basically, like I said, this is not exactly 100% to the T how they played it in the recording, but this is in the style of, it's the style of the way they played that song. Now, let me just say this on the recording, when you do the A section, you know, what a friend we have in that part, they actually played that entire section two times. Okay, so just play everything I showed you what to play, but just keep in mind, okay, I need to play that two times. Then when they came to the B section is, oh, what peace we often forfeit that part. They played that part twice before they started going into that vamping. OK, and the vamping is where you go. When I say vamp, I'm talking about that. Before you get to that part, they played that B section twice. Then they went into the vamp and they did it 5,000 times. Okay, not that many times. A lot of times. And then they ended the song. And on the chord sheet, you'll see ending, which will be. Okay. So that should get you through the song. So have fun with that one. Some of y'all probably going to try to play it in church uh, church this coming Sunday, right? <laughs> for the choir. But anyway, have um, have fun with that one. Denise, thank you again for the donation and being patient. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.